What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we'll be checking out the all new iVisor Pro from Moshi. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the MacBook and give you guys my quick in-depth review. So for those of you who are looking for a new screen protector for your all new 2016, 13 or 15 inch MacBook Pro from my past experience with last year's model, the iVisor is certainly an excellent choice. What sets the iVisor apart is its biggest feature, and that is a bubble-free, easy installation. But of course, let's slice this open, slap it on the MacBook, and see what we get. So, ripping the tab open. Looks like the first thing that we get is a microfiber cleaning cloth, and another piece of protective packaging, which of course reveals the iVisor itself. So we got our brand new 15 inch MacBook Pro here and as I mentioned earlier this is also available for the 13 inch model but anyways let's install this and see what it looks like. And once you're done this should be your end result. I've reviewed three or four different brands of screen protectors for the Retina MacBook Pro last year and I still have to say the iVisor is still the easiest one to install. So taking a quick overview of the screen protector and what it has to offer, the first obvious one is that it provides an anti-glare coating. In short, it gives the entire screen a matte finish which some could argue gives the MacBook a much more professional look that the pre-Retina MacBook Pro used to have as an option. In addition, it resists fingerprints and of course reduces glare and reflections. The screen protector pretty much gives you 99% protection. It's not 100% for example, you still have cutouts for the FaceTime camera, light sensors, and there's a tiny bit of exposed glass on the, each of the sides and corners just so you have a tiny bit of wiggle room to install the screen protector. One cool feature about the iVisor is that unlike some other screen protectors, it is reusable. So for example, if you're tired of the matte finish look and you want to put it on a few months down the road, you can do so by washing the screen protector and reapplying it. So is the screen protector really necessary for the MacBook Pros? Well, because the MacBooks don't have a touchscreen, I wouldn't say it's the most uh, number one thing you should get for your computer compared to a case or a keyboard cover, but a screen protector is a screen protector. It does what it does, protect your screen. In this case, the iVisor does more than just protect your screen. It also has an anti glare coating as I mentioned throughout this video, which helps reduce eye strain if you're using your computer for long periods of time as it reduces reflections and stuff coming off a glossy screen. For me though, I don't like scratches and whatnot that could happen to the screen, you never know, and it's much easier to replace a screen protector than the display of the MacBook. The biggest question you guys are probably wondering is how does the anti-glare finish affect the retina quality of the screen? Well as I mentioned with any anti-glare screen protector, whether it's for the iPhone or the MacBooks, I will say anti-glare does degrade the screen quality just a little bit. So I have my camera zoomed in as much as possible while still keeping a sharp image, but basically what I want to show you guys right here is that the best way I could describe it is that with any anti-glare or matte finish on top of a screen, you get some sort of like pixelated or static effect uh, on the entire screen. Now at this point, you guys are probably wondering, is it a bad screen protector? The, the effects I'm talking about is like a really subtle thing. The colors still pop out, the text and stuff are so crisp, and the whites and blacks are white and black. So I wouldn't say the screen protector takes away from the retina quality of the display, but it does add that subtle static effect that I've been talking about through the screen protector. But anyways, it is something that I want to mention to you guys, a small little detail, but of course it does affect the screen. I think for most of you guys who want to get this, you will be pretty happy with it, but there are some that may be disturbed or a little bit uh, disappointed by that effect. Overall guys, the initial impressions on the iVisor Pro for the 15 inch 2016 MacBook Pro and available for the 13 inch model as well is fairly positive. It certainly gives your MacBook Pro a much more professional and cleaner look thanks to that matte finish. All this while at the same time protecting your screen. For those of you who rock keyboard covers, it's not unheard of that keyboard covers do leave a mark on the screen because they flop around when your screen is closed on top of it. So for those of you who want to prevent that from ruining your screen, which is quite possibly if you don't clean it that often, then a screen protector is certainly a must-have accessory. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about the iVisor Pro here, other than the uh, static effect that I mentioned earlier about the anti-glare properties of any screen protector, there really isn't anything bad to say about it. The installation was really easy, and I do like how the matte finish reduces and almost eliminates reflections and light behind you. In conclusion guys, for those you looking for a screen protector for your all new 2016 MacBook Pro, you definitely can't go wrong with the Moshi iVisor Pro. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you guys have any questions or comments about this, ask me in the comment section down below, hit that like button, as always helps me out, and I'll see you all in the next video.